Hey guys, this is Derek from Pacific Coast Auto here in Japan, and we're taking a look at a recent auction purchase of a Z3 Coupe. Kind of a hard to find car these days here in Japan. They have a number of them, and so this one was bought from auction to export this one to Germany, which sounds a little bit weird, but we actually sell a number of cars to Germany, and we see a lot of them at the port going to Germany. A lot of Euro cars end up going back to Germany. I mean, this one here was an original Japan car, but a lot of German-ish cars like BMWs, Mercedes, AMGs, Audis end up going back to Germany because mileage here in Japan is low and prices tend to be pretty competitive once they're landed. So this one here is a 3 liter engine. You can get them in Japan with the 2.8 or the 3 liter, just those two engine options. This one being the later model, the bigger engine and a better engine than the 2.8 um, in my opinion. Coolant and oil both look good, and this model has only 57,000 kilometers on it, which by Japanese standards is still rather low, but by worldwide standards, that's extremely low. So the Z3 Coupe is known as being one of BMW's classic cars from this era. It didn't get an awful lot of love when it first came out, but these days people really like it for its performance and uh, handling and being kind of as close as you can get to an E30 M3 sports car without going for like $40,000, $50,000. So this does come in an M model called the M Coupe with a 3.2 liter M3 engine. This one here is not that version of it and is considerably less expensive. And so we're not going to go over the price that uh, we paid for this one at auction, but generally these at auction will bring in for the 2.8 liter as low as 600,000 and as high as about 1.8 million, sometimes 2 million um, for the highest end ones. I think this one is an M Sports package because it has a lot of M Sports pieces. The seller didn't say it was. Maybe these pieces have been replaced. You can see on it M Sports wheels. It also has M Sports steering wheel and... One other thing, I can't remember, I can't recall it right now, but uh, if I remember, I'll, I'll point it out. So here's the auction inspection sheet on it. I'm gonna go over and translate this and then I'll walk around the vehicle and show the exterior and then the interior. Oops. Okay, so it's the year 2002, which I think is the final year. BMW Z3 Coupe 3.0, that's a three liter inline six cylinder. This one had current registration here in Japan and so was on the road. Here in Japan, you have to re-register the car every two years and go through an inspection and fix anything that's broken and so that maintains the quality of the cars here in Japan very high. 50, uh, 56,965 kilometers and it's an auction grade 4 with an interior grade of B and an exterior grade of B. This is an original Japan car with black leather seats which are really cool because the black leather seats are an additional optional seat. They usually come with a uh, half leather seat. It's really not that nice but these leather seats are really quite nice seat heaters that's on all of them navi reverse camera toll collection box owner's manual and warranty papers so that's kind of like a history booklet of some of the repairs that were done during the warranty period and then uh, it says aftermarket wheels on it that's kind of like limited spec wheels but they are the uh, m the m wheels but not the same as the m coupe the M Coupes are really wide, but the same design. They're like an extra two or three inches deeper. Okay, so the report from the auction says the interior is dirty and scratched. Seat has wear on it and steering wheel has wear on it. Wheel scratch, door mirror scratch, various scratches and dents. And then if you look at the body here, there is a small dent here, repainted section here. And they don't mention it, but there's a dent on the roof. That is right here. Zoom. There we go. Small dent. Now the one on the other side is actually smaller than that. And there are a few scratches, but nothing, nothing really major, especially for a vehicle that is as old as this. Okay, the shoe aesthetics tend to look really good in my opinion these days. And the way that they feel when you're driving is just excellent. In fact that they're fairly rare vehicles. It does share some suspension with the E30 M3 and so I guess it is kind of like that. The M Coupe version of this sells in Japan for between about 1.2 on the low end, uh, 1.2 million yen pardon me, and then on the high end about 3.5 million yen. But most of the good ones are somewhere in the uh, low twos. 
Okay. This one has the uh, late generation headlight version. Nice big dam in the front there. A bit of peeling on the logo here. Let's see at the top. Zoom. Okay. And the back of it is flared out so much. It looks so good from your rear view mirror. Super cool. Okay, so in terms of scratches, we have one right here. And there's another one. I got pictures of the scratches, but I don't, don't remember exactly where they are. It's really not that bad. And it's a hatchback. It's cool, it's just so unique and weird. And people are gonna appreciate it. Okay, so let's go into the back here. This piece here is only later model. Um, I've probably sold about 50 Z3 Roadsters. The Coupe, not so many, probably about six, maybe five. Okay. There are way, way, way more Roadsters here in Japan than there are Coupes. I can't get this up with one hand very easily, but there's just jack and tools underneath there. We got an aftermarket DVD player in there. And what's this? A map. That's funny. Okay, so this one was bought from the auction and it actually had some sort of a, a failure on the way here. So we actually bought it a while ago and then it didn't get here until yesterday. Um, it's not common for there to be failures on the cars from auction. But uh, this one had cracks in the intake pipe and it couldn't uh, idle or run properly because of that. And then uh, got sent to the shop, got fixed, and then sent here. So if you go with a leather seat version, this piece here is full leather as well. Whereas usually it's made out of this fake uh, leather-ish material and it has like, kind of a spotty design on it. Sometimes these handles break off, but this one's nice and sturdy. interior you can see the M Tech or M M Sports I guess they changed the name M Sports steering wheel there's gauges so you can see the 56 979 kilometers on there mount on the top of the dashboard wood panels and I don't think that there are any cracks in the wood panels so that's good heated seats AC works I do very much like these seats over the standard ones. Not a big fan of the standard uh, Z3 seats. I like how they have more bolstering in the bottom section here, like three times as much. You also get more bolstering here, but the bottom, it just, it feels like it hugs your butt. I love butt hugs. Okay, there's the wear on the seat. You can see it's very light, and then you can re-dye that very quickly and easily. Not really a problem. It says coupe down here. Ooh, that's cool. Let's go in. Now it is an automatic transmission. Here in Japan, they never sold this in a manual except for the M coupe version. But if you want, you can shift yourself. And this three liter engine feels so good, even though it is an automatic, that uh, you don't feel like you miss it. If you have an underpowered engine and um, and it's an auto, it's a lot worse. Okay, good seat over there. Headliner's good. You can get these with a glass roof, which is super awesome. It doesn't um, like slide open, it tilts open, but it is cool to have the glass roof. You got a cubby back here, pretty sizable one. And then look at this, component speakers in the ceiling. I love ceiling speakers on every car that they come in. You get an extra three Doug score points for ceiling speakers or so. I wish. I don't know. Maybe somebody can tell Doug that Derek says you should give spe uh, speakers in the ceiling extra points. I haven't watched one of his new videos since he changed his, uh, his uh, Doug score points like he said that he would. Anyways, great looking car. I think good value, low mileage great condition, 
It is a pain that uh, one of the intake pipes was broken. I think something else was broken too, but I didn't have the report on that at the time of shooting this video. But uh, there we go. That's the end of the report. Thank you very much for watching, and have a nice day.